Hey Exiles, welcome back to Necropolis League. First off, I just want to comment and show some appreciation to GGG for consistently delivering such a smooth league start. Um, I played last epoch during the launch and it just made me realize how developed Path of Exile is and how far ahead the curve it is compared to other ARPGs in the market. I love last epoch but it has a long way to go to uh, catch up with Path of Exile. But anyway, back to the video. So I'm leak starting as a cast on crit detonate date of Chain Reaction Inquisitor. Um, I level S, you may have guessed it, the typical armor brand cremation setup. It is a smooth campaign run overall. Uh, it's my first time leveling with this setup, so it does require pressing a lot of buttons. Armor brand is usually just the main skill you use for clearing but on single target you would have to desecrate and then press cremation and then curse the enemy with flammability and then if possible use wave of conviction as well if you get all that down you will get decent single target as shown here but yeah some tips and tricks uh, while leveling this build is that mana is tricky so you would definitely want to run uh, if possible an enduring mana flask and upgrade your mana flask as you go also run clarity and swap the dual wheel as soon as possible to take advantage of the dual wheel mastery that gives you 60% more damage or increased damage um, the new call to arms support is also pretty cool it allows you to run inferno cry and if possible enduring cry if you have extra slots now after the campaign, I basically became a lab farmer or lab runner just because th the price of uh, detonate date of chain reaction was just too high on day one. I could not afford it. It was about 20c at the time of recording and I had to farm it myself. So this here is the first run that I completed and um, I believe I got uh, Mirror Arrow of Bombarding which it's quite lucky I was able to sell it for about 3 chaos I believe so I made some money there but <clears throat> on my second run you will not believe my I, I could not believe my luck here I got this skill and I converted it and I got detonate date of chain reaction immediately so that solved it um, but I still needed currency to get a 5 fling and I needed some other gems as well like lancing spray so I ran it and this is my third run which got me DD of Chain Reaction again. So at this point, I'm convinced my RNG is uh, probably exhausted for the day. Um, but the rest of the run was uh, subpar. I ran the next 15 to 20 laps and got nothing significantly good. Couple of Lancing Steel of Spraying, but that's about it. The layout was pretty good on day one, so it definitely helps a lot. Um, and the price for DD should drop in the next few days. So ho hopefully you wouldn't need to uh, to do this or farm it yourself if you want to maintain your sanity. So prior to swapping uh, here I already just swapped to uh, to cast and crit DD and as you can see the attack speed is kind of slow but it's because my weapon only has a 1.5 attacks per second. It does have a 7.5 crit which is important in my opinion. If possible, I would recommend getting a sword with at least 1.6 attacks per second and a 7.5 crit base. Uh, other things you would want to get is definitely a 5 link. Colors would be 4 green and 1 blue. A diamond flask. Lancing steel of spring which is about 5c when I farmed it. Uh, it might be cheaper now. Uh, DD of chain reaction obviously and a level 15 desecrate that's super important for a high corpse health and if this is your first time playing a corpse build you would want to uh, go to cathedral rooftop and raise a Kitava herald specter um, there's a lot of videos out there explaining how to do that so make sure you uh, don't forget that step but yeah, I mean, the build seems pretty strong overall. Um, I played this build because it is supposedly tanky and has a lot of damage, so I'm curious how it goes. So that's it for my day one update. Uh, stay tuned for more, and I'll likely post an update to this build in the next few days.